In the last video, we created a database in MySQL. And now we're going to create a table because you really can't have a database without a table, right? So that's what we're going to do. Now you can see I've already created the SQL syntax down here for this. And by the way, I'll put this in the description of this video so that you don't have to type all of this out. So let's go ahead and review this before we go ahead and execute this command. Now, of course, here is the command. It's create table. And then we just specify the name of the table. And in this case, we're going to call it user data. Now, we can do many things when we create a table, but in this instance, we're just going to create the columns. We're going to get the columns going first. And then in the next video, we'll actually add rows. We'll actually insert the data. And that's when we start getting our rows, which will hold all the different people that we want to put in our database, the name, and in this case, the address. So here's the first column, name, and that's all we put there. Now, this is called a variable character field. And this is just basically a data type that we can use in MySQL. And there are different types of data types. For our purposes, we only need to be concerned about this particular data type. Now, this data type will basically allow us to store either letters or numbers in our field. So that's why we use this type of data type. Now, this is the max length. So we're only going to allow up to 50 letters or numbers. That's it. Anything past that will get truncated. Don't worry about this not null. This basically means the field can't be empty. Now, all we do is put a comma, and then we can create our second column, which we're going to call address. And you guessed it, we're going to allow the user to enter their address. And we're going to use the same data type. Now, obviously, addresses are usually a lot longer than names, so we'll allow 255 characters in this particular field. And again, we specify not null. So that's how that works. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this now. And we'll go up here, right click. Let's paste this, and we're going to hit Enter. And there you can see we didn't get much of a message again. It just says query OK. But I can assure you our table was created. And just to make sure, let's go ahead and use the describe command. This is a very useful command, by the way, in MySQL. It allows us to do inquiries on particular things. In this case, we're going to do an inquiry on our table to make sure it was created. And of course, the name of our table is user data. And there you can see our table is in fact created. And here you can see we have our two fields. And basically these are our two columns. And we have the name and address. It gives us the type, which of course is a variable character field. And it gives us the max length. Don't worry about the rest of these. We'll talk about these later. But we just wanted to make sure that our table was in fact created. Okay, that's going to do it now. In the next video, we will actually input some data. See you guys then.